Oh, they blocked the passage here. Look at that. Why, why would they block that passage? I don't understand these people. Like they put like a bunch of wood over there so people wouldn't cross. Well, it might seem like it's a really nice day, and it, it is, you know, there's, it's not raining or uh, the roads aren't wet, but it is 21 degrees. That's kind of crazy, but at least the sun is out. So this is the problem with small scooters. You constantly have to fill them up. Three dollars. Nice. Spilled a little though. You know, what are some of the disadvantages of riding scooters? What are some of the disadvantages of riding scooters? So, as you know, if you're thinking about getting into the scooter life, thug life, world, you are thinking, oh man, there's so many scooters, so many choices. Because there are a lot of choices and it's really different from like CCs. You know, you can get like a 600cc bike and then get a 650cc bike and it's about the same. But, but a scooter, you get a 50cc bike and then you get a 100cc bike. That's a world of a difference. So generally when people think of scooters, they think of the 50cc style. Because the 50cc is the most approachable and easiest to um, handle scooters. You don't even need a motorcycle license for a 50. Because I believe they're kind of considered mopeds. At least in this area, that's what what they are in Europe too I believe that uh, they have different like licensing for 50s and I had a few 50s you know like the Honda Ruckus is a 50 the Yamaha C3 the Honda Elite 50s the Yamaha Vinos the Yamaha Zumas they're all 50s there's tons of 50 selections and I like them you know I like them for what they are and I enjoy them but the problem is that they're very slow on the 50 i would be forced to kind of like hug that right lane at all times and if i was going up hills for example i would be slowing down and i would be holding traffic up and there would be tons of people like trying to move around me so for me a 50 i love it but it doesn't make a lot of sense and i feel that it's a little bit on the unsafe side for riders that don't live right in the city center go ahead buddy get in there <clears throat> okay when you merge you have to like go a little bit faster okay don't merge and go slow but with the 50 you really have a really cool small scooter that gets the highest amount of mpgs possible but the problem is is that you're really limited and a lot of it what I like about this one is that I have a little bit of power to kind of get away from cars if I need to. A 150 is really, really amazing. Or a 110, 100 because you have just a little bit more oomph. But it still looks like a small scooter so you can get away with a lot of douchebaggery. And for me that's important. Oh, speed camera. But you don't even need to get a proper tag. Basically the motor vehicles here in the area gives you a sticker and <clears throat> that's it you don't have to get your bike inspected every two years nothing you don't have to get it inspected at all when you're registering it the insurance and everything is much cheaper and on a 50 you don't need the license a motorcycle license but you do need a permit at the very minimum to ride a 50. now anything over a 50 is considered a motorcycle and not a moped so you need a motorcycle license and a tag but for a lot of scooters because like 100 to like 150 they still look like they're small bikes you can get away without even tagging them if you if you're into that sort of thing i really feel that the 100 to 150 cc segment is the best for city commuters and suburban to city commuters because it gives you the best of both worlds you get the the speed of kind of like a little bit of a faster car or a regular motorcycle because it's very difficult to go really fast in these roads legally anyway and this thing will do 69 miles an hour and i don't find that to be lacking and because of the really large wheels it makes it a very easy bike to ride so if you get a 50 most 50s have 
small diameter wheels 10 inch to 12 inch and that's gonna make the scooter behave like a scooter like if it's really fun getting those little tiny wheels but the problem is for stability in riding in areas that has a lot of traffic and a lot of potholes the stability of scooter wheels is important the bigger the wheel the better are these things called midi and maxi scooters you know like you can get a bergman 400 and you can get like a bergman 650 or honda silver wing and i like those but it's so much plastic to deal with i don't know man um the large scooters are less like scooters and more like motorcycles and they're awesome if you like a touring bike and you're into cruisers a honda silver wing is undoubtedly a better bike it's so much more comfortable you can position your your legs in different ways and it feels like you're riding on a chair and i don't know I've, you know with my kimco 500 i really thought that bike was just really cool and comfortable but i hated dealing with all that plastic get through here hey a honda element nice element man i like that car who are you you know one of the things i vowed not to do this year and forever is go to sit down restaurants where you have to pay tips oh they blocked the passage here look at that why, why would they block that passage i don't understand these people like they put like a bunch of wood over there so people wouldn't cross they never realized that my scooter is an off-road scooter oh that's the scooter guys and it looks great with the um, the only mod i've really done is the tire is a little bit wider than normal it was a ninja 250 tire from 2002 it takes the same tires so i put a little bit of a thicker tire in the back and it handles much better i think but yeah i think it's um a really nice little scooter only downside is that it was only made for a year so but yeah i mean the um air box was like 90 dollars, so i made my own the really big selling point of this bike is the really large wheels the 16 inch wheels are really good the Kimco 500 I had was what like 15 or 14s so this one's got motorcycle style wheels that's why these scooters are really good for motorcycle riders that are getting into scooters because they handle very similar very different very agile and very casual with these wheels I, I really like it but I would sell it if I could find a Honda Forza or PCX or uh, Yamaha X Max, but uh, for you know for right now, it's a good uh, workhorse to get to work and all of that sort of uh, good stuff. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. <laughs> kind of stuck here. The cops won't bother me.